Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. I am so excited to come to you with this video today. I am finally sharing my updated makeup routine with you guys. So this is actually the finished look. So make sure you stay tuned if you wanna see how I created this look. So first up guys, I'm gonna go in with my Refai face primer. Of course, I love going in with this first as part of my makeup base. It just gives the most gorgeous glowy base and also helps my makeup last way longer. So I'm gonna go in with this now. So just taking off the lid and you only need the tiniest amount of product guys. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit up, ready to go in and sculpt and prime my face. So I've just got a tiny bit of product. And then I just like starting from my chin and working outwards, just really going in and sculpting out my face and of course applying the serum. Now going in and doing the other side. As you guys can see, this formula has no pigment and really does give that gorgeous radiant finish to the skin. And then I like to go upwards across my nose and down towards my drainage points. I do this as part of my everyday makeup routine. Obviously, if I'm going to go in with my makeup next or even on no makeup days, just for that really gorgeous, healthy glow. And if I'm also feeling a bit puffy when I wake up, then I love using the roller just to go in and really sculpt up my face, like my key areas, like my jaw, my cheekbones, honestly, it is the best feeling, guys. So as you guys can see, I've just applied a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna go in now with my Refai Beauty Sponge to blend this out. You guys know I love just wearing a little bit of concealer and then of course the Refai Face Collection as my base. So now that I've gone in with my concealer, I'm now ready for my Refai Face Collection. So I'm just grabbing the Refai Cream Bronzer in the color Sand and my Duo End Brush, sorry, using the blend end. And I'm just gonna go in and get a little bit on my brush. As I've said before, I love applying this straight onto my skin because it just gives the most gorgeous, healthy, natural glow. As you guys can see, the Refai Cream Bronzer formula looks so stunning with the Refai Face Primer. It really does just give that gorgeous glow that we all want. So again, I'm just going in with this in all the areas where I would be a little bit more sun-kissed. So like my cheekbones, my forehead, and also my jaw. Next up guys, I'm going in with a cream bronzer, but this time in tan, I just like to go back in with this bronzer to add a little bit more definition. So I'm just gonna take this now straight onto my face, just starting at my cheekbones and working the two bronzers together up onto my forehead. This brush is so incredible because it really does just blend your makeup so seamlessly for that really gorgeous airbrushed natural finish. Next up, I'm taking the Refai Cream Blush in the colour Malaya and my Refai Dua End Brush using the buff end. I'm just going to go in and grab a little bit of the blush now. I just like to apply this to the highest point of my cheeks. So just like this, I honestly love blush. I feel like it just gives such a gorgeous natural lift to the face and it just makes such a difference to my makeup. So I'm just going to go in and buff this in now. Next up guys, I'm going in with Refai Skin Finish just to give that gorgeous finish to my skin. So of course I use shade 01. I'm just gonna go in with this now, taking the lid off. And then of course you've got the inner lid and then all of the formulas in there and using the cute little Refai Beauty Sponge. I'm just gonna go in and remove any unwanted shine. So I'm just gonna take this under my eyes. As I said, just removing any unwanted shine this product is so insane. It just gives the most flawless finish to my makeup. I'm gonna do one side to show you guys. And then going in just here again, removing that shine. Also around my nose here. You literally need the tiniest amount of product, like a little bit really does go a long way, guys. And then my forehead also. And I'm gonna show you guys this side, obviously with skin finish. My skin still looks like skin, but it literally looks like it has a smoothing filter over it. And this side is obviously a lot more glowy, but I'm just gonna remove the glow in the areas that I don't want it and then put it back with a gloss highlight next. And now I'm just gonna go in and do the other side. Next up is the Refai Gloss Highlight. Like I said, I love going back in with this just to add a little bit of glow where I want it. 
So as you guys know, the formula is really golden, but when applied, it goes really gorgeous and glass-like. It's the most perfect dewy finish. So again, I'm just applying this to all of the high points of my face, just where I would want the light to naturally hit. And I'm just using my fingers to apply this. This formula is so amazing because it can go over the top of any of your makeup and it won't budge anything underneath. So again, just putting a little bit on my nose and forehead just like I said, where I'd want the light to naturally hit. So next guys, it's brow time. I'm going in with the Refi Brow Sculpt. I'm just gonna go in and give my brows that gorgeous brushed up bushy brow finish. So just taking the formula upwards. As you can see, the formula is white, but it does dry clear. So just going in and doing both brows now. Then twisting that back in and taking off this lid, we have our double ended brushes just in there. I love to use these just to go in and fully sculpt out my brows. This also helps to remove any excess formula and this is what is gonna hold those brows in place all day, guys. So it's so important that you do this step. So that is my brows all sculpted now and ready for pomade. I'm now going in with the Refi pomade in the color medium just to add a little bit more of a fuller look to my brow. So all of the pomade formula is just in there. And then taking the brush in this end here to apply, this brush is perfectly angled just to go in and like I said, add that fuller look to the brow. I'm just gonna show you guys now. I tend to like to add a little bit more fullness more towards the end of my brow because I then love going in with a pencil just to add a little bit more definition in the front. So my step three is the Refi Brow Pencil, again in the color medium. So in this end, we have the Refi Pencil. As you guys can see, the tip is literally so, so tiny. So it's super precise for adding on those extra hair strokes. I like just to go in more towards the front of my brow and just work this through. I like to do this obviously on both sides. And then once I've done that, taking the other end, which is our little spoolie brush. This part is so good for going in and just fluffing up your brows and giving a really nice natural finish. So a little refi hack for you all. I love going back in with the brow pencil just to add on some fake freckles. I do have a few freckles underneath just on my nose and cheeks. But I think sometimes when I apply my concealer, these can sometimes get a little bit hidden. So I just like to go back and add these in. And then once I've done that, I just take my fingers to blend those out. Now time for Refi Lips. I'm of course using the lip collection in the color Taup. So just taking up the pencil here. This is how it looks. And then I just love to go in and line the outer edge of my lips. So I just like to bring the line downwards and the formula of the Refi lip liner is so creamy. So I just press my lips together to blend. So once I've done that, I go in with the setter, which is so important because this is what is gonna hold your lips in place for that long lasting finish. So I'm now going in with the lip setter and you only need the tiniest amount. I just apply this all over the lip. As I said, this will give it the most smooth, long lasting hold to your lip. Sometimes I like just to leave my lip like this if I want a really nice hydrated matte finish. But tonight I'm going for dinner and I'm feeling like a gloss. So I'm gonna go in with that next. So before I go in with the Refi lip gloss, I like just to leave my lip setter to dry for a couple seconds. Honestly guys, if you haven't tried the Refi lip collection, you need to. The setter is a world first and a game changer when it comes to your lip. So as you can see, I've applied it now. I'm literally gonna take my hand with nothing on it, of course. Look, literally no transfer. It's honestly incredible. Like your lip will not be going anywhere. It's insane. So as I said, I let this dry and then I next go in with the Refi gloss. So if you twist off the lid here, Inside we have the metal tip, which ensures a really nice cooling application. This of course is a high gloss lip balm, but it also has all the benefits of a lip balm. So it's also so good for your lips and just makes your lips look insane. As you can see, the formula is actually clear. So I'm just gonna go in and apply this now, just over the top of my lip sculpt. And as I said, it just gives the most gorgeous, high shine, glossy finish. 
so this is my makeup look nearly complete i just have one more step which is the refi body glow you guys have been loving this and of course i cannot go out without this so that's coming next so here it is guys this is the refi body glow so as i said i love just wearing this when i go out so tonight i'm just gonna put this on my chest and shoulders i love doing this day to day and then if i'm on like a shoot or if i'm going on a full night out i love putting this literally everywhere like it's insane so i'm going to show you guys how it looks now i'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit out onto my skin to show you all this was actually based off the infamous refi gloss highlight i know so many of you guys were the same but i actually used to go through bottles and bottles of this i mean the gloss highlight sorry trying to get that gorgeous all over glow i even tried mixing it with my moisturizer but i just could not create anything that was like non-stick but also gave that glass like finish that i wanted so this is why we had to develop the refi body glow and guys of course if you know if you've tried it you will know sorry it is insane and it really does do that i mean look at this it is just so so stunning it really does give that gorgeous glass like finish and yeah as you can see i'm so obsessed it just looks so stunning on all of your high points especially like i said shoulders and collarbone so i just apply the tiniest bit with my hands wherever i want to use it and as i said it can be used all over the body so this is how it's looking it really is my go-to if i'm going out and of course day to day just chest and shoulders but yeah i'm so glad you guys are loving this product also so guys this is my look now complete it was so good coming on and getting ready with you all of course i wanted to show you all my updated routine and share a few of my new favorify products with you also i am now ready to go out um but if you guys did want to check out any of these gorgeous products then they are available over at refibeauty.com and of course as always all of our products are also vegan cruelty free and the packaging is also fully recyclable Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon.